Hi everyone, John here again today and welcome to National Fitness Day here at Everlast Fitness Clubs. National Fitness Day is a day to celebrate fitness, be it physical activity, be it downstairs in the gym, upstairs in the studio, out about walking out or anything to keep you active at home or anywhere you want to go. So, today, join me in this Define class that we're going to teach today. Define is a strength class to help strengthen and divide your full body. It's based on high reps, slightly high weight, and it's going to leave no stone until you are going to come out feeling well pumped. So today, we're going to show a snip bit of this part of the class. So we're going to be here for about 20 minutes, and we're going to work on your chest, your shoulders, and your arms. So all you need is a step, and a mat if you want one to help, some hand weights and a plate, or something that you can simulate for those items. It doesn't have to be a step, you can just lie on the floor if you need to. You can have some hand weights, you can have whatever you have in the house just lying around, tins of beans, dog food, bottle of wine, can't go wrong there. So, let's start to crack on. So imagine we've all warmed up, so we're going to go straight into our chest workout. So when you go down, you can start out with some press ups, so let's keep them slightly warmed up. We're going to walk up chest up a little bit more. So, let's get some press ups up. We are going to do 12 press ups. If you struggle with your press ups on full extension, just drop them knees and keep going. Remember, this is your workout, it's all about you. I think it's the best that you can do, but I also want you to push yourself. One more. And I'm rest. With a couple of seconds rest. The tagline for this class is challenge yourself to change yourself. That is key. Keep it to the same weight for a long period of time will not really change you. You need to challenge by adding a little bit of extra weight every now and again once you get used to the move, thinking, yeah, that's good. Just try and take it up. So we want to get that burn. It's going to nearly take us slightly to failure, but not as in damage. That's not good. Just take it to where you can feel it, and you have slightly start to struggle, and you want that burn. That is what this class is all about. Are we ready? Let's go for that second set. Snippets to the last set where we're going to do chest, arms, and shoulders in this pack class. Define will be on your timetable in your gym. So count for it, give it a go. Each Define class is guided by your own instructor, so every class will be different. So, what you do with me today will not be what you do in another gym. Yeah? Cool. Right, let's go again. Third set. Final one. Ah, oh, good job. So the chest is now starting to get nice and warmed up. Starting to feel a little bit tight, hopefully. So just imagine that we've already done your warm up, we've done another body part. Define is total body. So you'll do your legs, your back, your bum, your chest, your abs, your arms, and your shoulders all in one class. All with weights, be it body weight, hand weights, bar, kettlebell, whatever your instructor gives you to do. So, next one, we're going to keep up with press ups for this next set. We are going to do Spider Man press ups. So when you go down, you're going to bring your knee up to your elbow. You're only going to do six of these. So six in total, three in each leg. So put yourself into a press up position. So when you go down, your elbow. So that's one. And then knee to other elbow. If you struggle with that, pop down your knees, cock your leg out. 
and the metal body. So, three. Four. Five. Everyone's in six. Everyone rest again for me. You will feel this a lot more on your shoulders, definitely on your chest. You might also feel it on your lats, on your side. Everything's starting to get warmed up, so things will be kicking in now. We've got two more sets to go. Are we ready? Go again. Four. You will definitely feel them. Like I said, it's your workout, so just take it to where you can. If you can manage one or two in full extension, but then have to drop down on your knees, that's fine. Workout is what you can do. What nobody else can do is your workout. You'll have people stronger, you'll have people weaker. You'll have faster, faster or slower. Just focus on you. But just challenge yourself while shouting. Are ready? Final set. So grab a drink, grab a towel if you need to. So now I'm going to go onto your arms and a little bit of shoulders. We're going to go into good old tricep games. So if you're on a step, I want you just to basically stick your bump on that step, hands face forward, walk them feet out so the legs are nice and straight. All you're going to do is dig down through those elbows, so bend those elbows back and straighten up. You're going to do 12 of those. If you struggle with your full extension, just bend your knees so you bring your feet a little bit closer in, just to help take the pressure off, and again, bump them down. If you do not have a step, sit yourself down the floor, hands back, bring those feet in, and push up, elbows back again. There's always a way to get around everything. Are we ready? So I'm going to use the step for this first set. We've got three sets of 12 to do. But what I'll do, I'll do a different set in different variation for you. So let's get the worst one out of the way. The legs fully straight now. Go on, you can cross your legs. You can lift one leg up whilst you're doing it. Completely up to you. Let's see what you do. You can challenge and change. Are we ready? 12, off we go. Try and get that bump all the way down. So just slightly touch the floor. Back up. Push those elbows back. Then drive those arms up to straighten them. One more. And we're going to bring those feet in. Pop that bum back. How's that feel? We're going to be slightly kicking in now from doing those press ups as well. That's what it's all about. You have to challenge this body. If you want to change it, we don't challenge it, I'm afraid. It works. Right, second set. So, I'll show you the next variation where you go onto your feet. So just keep it in, let's do another 12, so straight down, straight up. When you're doing these ones, you may find that your bum may not get down to the floor. That's fine. Just take you which way you can go. The other triceps kicking in real soon. 12, good. How are feeling? How are feeling? So like I said, every instructor will teach this class differently. They may break up into reps and sets with a little bit of rest. They may just power straight through with rep after rep after rep. Or they may do it in different variation. Each instructor will teach this differently. But it will do and achieve the same thing. Yeah? Cool. Right, let's move down to the floor. So let's get this last set out of the way. So remember, feet flat on the floor. Hands flat on the floor, push that bum up a little bit, stick them the triceps, bum to the floor. Good. See? Easy. Triceps, done. But remember, like I said, it's done in snippets, so there may be more reps, there may be more sets, there may be less rest, maybe doing different things. Throughout. 
one where to find out and get yourself booked on top to find class in your gym. Next one, we are going to go into a tank press. So you need your hand legs, your tin beans, your bottle of wine, whichever you have in the house. You will lie down, hold them weights straight up in the air, with just hovering just over your chest. All you are going to do, bend them elbows till the weights touch your chest, and then straight back up again. So this is going to work your chest and again your triceps. We're going to do 12 of them. Let's get started. So weight all the way down to our own. That's moving. Is your elbows. And keep the upper arms straight up as possible. And rest. Bring it up. Best way to describe what all weight is you can need. Start with what you think you know. Your gym. Get through all the steps. If you still feel that you can do more by the time that you've done that particular muscle group with your instructor, the next time you come, just wrap them weights up. See how it goes. Don't go full heavy straight away. That will help help in gym. Honestly, want to keep you nice and safe. So choose what you're normally going to say in another weights class. See how you feel and you think, yeah, that will good, but I can know I can do better next time. That's the spirit that we need. So therefore, each time you come, just keep adding that weight on, get yourself nice and strong, and that will help define that body. Second set, let's go again. Lying down nice and comfy. Weights above your chest, and let us go. Good feeling. And rest. Bring it up. One step to go. Cook all exercises as well. On this one. All oh, good fun, all oh, worth it. As I was saying, no pain, no gain, except we don't want pain, we want burn. That's what we are looking for. There's a difference. Final set, let's go back down. And so I've got the weights over the chest, and away we go. Bring yourself up. Think that's not too bad. Easy. So remember, each time it's easy, just bring that weight up for me. If you're a few weeks, few months, you will definitely see those changes. For your next exercise, we're going to go into a full leg press. So you need got one, a plate. See what weight you can take. If you don't have a plate, you can just use your hand weight. And what we are going to do, lay it down, play it on your chest, hands in the middle of the plate. So you're holding your plate in both hands. Keep the hands flat, don't put your fingers through the hole, don't hold the bottom of the plate. We need it to keep it nice and still. This will feel really weird. You're trying to push the plate together with your hand, and then we're also going to push straight up and bring it down. Nice and steady way. We're going to keep to 12. And let's go. So up and down. You might find towards the end that your arms may not be able to pull it straight. So what you are doing, you are pushing your arms together to keep that plate in the hill. You are also driving those arms up. So you are trying to do two movements at the same time. Um, rest. So it might find as we start to get up that the weight might start to run a little bit wobbly. Just take it careful. Remember, just keep that plate nice and secure in place. Keep it over your chest. If you need to take a break, take a break. Do not push through 
the hobo, you do not want this player to slip. Yeah? Second set. Off we go. How's that feeling? That's creeping a little bit now. Jones, we like. We have one more set to go. Here we go with this one. Both of those arms are still nice and secure. Players are not letting that white bubble out too much. A little bubble's good. Jones will be all over the place. Final set. Where are we now? So wrap your hand much, you can stay sat on your bench, you can place there, or you can sit on the floor. This one we're going to do sat down. So grab these weights, you're going to hold them facing in, so your palms are facing your body, and you're going to alternate, you're going to push up, you're going to rotate, bring that palm to face forward, bring it down, and then change out forward and back. We're going to do 12 in total, so you've got six on each side. So let's go. So all the way up, all the way down. Keep that back nice and straight. Chin up. Nice full rotation all the way around. One more for me. Good, bring it down. I'll find that one. We're just going to make sure that you rotate that hand so it comes to the turns fully round and it comes fully back by the time you get to the bottom and it's fully out when you get to the top. Yeah? Go again. Ready, off we go. Rest in this one. We want to keep that burn, we want to keep the acid in. Help. Are we ready? Final set. Off we go. Bicep curls, but also going to throw in hand curls at the same time just to keep their muscles guessing, keep them powering through. So, we're going to go onto a sleep bicep curl in 21s. So, I'm going to do from bottom halfway, seven of those, so bottom to halfway seven. On your seventh one, you're going to eight, halfway to the top, seven of those. When you get to seven of them, top. All the way to the bottom, straight through, all the way down, all the way up. When you've done seven of those, let's just twist it up, turn it into a hammer curl. So again, half facing your body, weight down, weight up. Seven of those. So technically, 28. 21 sounds so much better. Are we ready? Three, two, 
one off we go both hands together come on I'm going in higher than halfway. Okay, seven, top to halfway. Keep those elbows tucked in. Let's keep it nice, isolated. Okay, all the way through, all the way down. Fully stretch those arms, full range of motion. That's it. Let's take it into the muscle, turn those hands in, so the hands face you, up and down. So slightly tweak that muscle, and it in a little bit of a different spot. And waist, up and waist down for me. That's your first step, we have two more to go. How are we feeling? We all good? Excellent. So, let's crack on, not set not much rest. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Back into them biceps, 21s, where we go, bottom to halfway, seven. And halfway to top, and we'll turn again. So if you're starting to struggle, just form one foot back onto the ball of your foot. Help with that balance, get that pressure off your back a little bit if needed. Let's go all the way through. And um, should definitely be feeling now after all that little bit we've just done. Into those hammers for me. Straight down, rotate into hammers. Last one, last one, that's it. Come on, good work. Pull the weights down, let's just shake it up a little bit. We have got one more set to go, then we have one exercise left out of this taster. I'm sure you're going to love or you are going to hate the next one. It's a bit 50 50, but I can tell you it's not burpees. So, let's get these 21 slash 28 done. Are we ready? Come on, let's go. Definitely kicking in on these halfway to tops. Look at the come all the way through, all the way through. We've only got these ones to left to do. Keep those out to keep them going. Try not to let them stop. Power through it, power through. But do not let that back rock. That's why I've got that foot behind to stop me rocking completely. I've lost count. I'm sure that's six, might be more, might be less. And rest. Good job, good job. Got them weights down. How are we feeling? Arms good, chest good. And shoulders, they'll be taking a little bit. So, last exercise of this taster session. We are going to do. Bear crawls. We have to sink in to see who and how you know them and hear the groaning from here. So, you're going to slide back a little bit and you are going to drop down onto your knees. And you are going to put your hands on the floor. So your hands are going to go under your shoulders, your knees are going to go onto your hips. You are going to bring those knees slightly off the floor and you're going to go forward and then backwards. Crawl forward, a couple of meters, come back a couple of meters, forward, back, and then we rest. We want to try and roughly gather 10 meters forward, 10 meters backwards. Depending on what space you've got, you might have to do short ones. If you're doing this at home and you've got 10 meters that you can walk in front and walk behind, perfect. If you're in a studio, you're going to do, watch it a few times, so it's normally. Four five steps forward, four five steps back. Should we get through this one? Are we ready? So, hands down, bum up, keep those knees slightly off the floor. I do not want to see any of this. Bears around here, so let's go. All the same, those legs. And I'm going to walk you back. 
Take session, so as quickly as getting stretched out, work will stretch out. Right foot to your bum, knees together for me. Stand nice and tall, push out through that hip. That's as imagine we've done full body. Drop that foot down. I'm going to turn my arms, take that foot back. Lean over, so the knee can land with ankle. I take the body from our back. Left foot to your bum. Again, knees together. Push out through that hip. Take it behind. Now the following, so knee and the ankle in line. Feel on the back of that leg and a little bit into the bum. Second in. Left hand going down to the left foot. Right arm straight up for me. Put the left hand up towards the ceiling. Meet up, change side. Almost there, guys. Keep back up, but take those arms behind. So go behind, squeeze and push up. Nice and tall. Chin up, chest out. Push those arms as high as they can. Bring them around in front and push forward. Just put them hands on top of each other, there's no need to link them fingers. Tail and arms straight up in the air for me. Keep it up, keep them feet wet out. To lean to your right. Do not let them hips sway out. Take it to your left. Back to centre. Bring those arms down. Rotate back and forth for me. And forward fall. And there we go. Excellent work, everyone. Well done. That was defined. Look for it on your gym timetable. I will hopefully see some of you here in my class. My name's John. Pleasure as always. Take it easy. Take care. Stay safe. See you later.